What's up? This is Mike from All That Remains, and you're watching Hardcore Sounds. Okay, so we, we are sitting here in Nosturi, Helsinki, and with me is Mike from All That Remains. Hello, how's it going for you guys at the moment? Good, good. Thanks for having me. Everything's going uh, fantastic so far. The show's been amazing. So it's, it's actually our first time. We've been here a lot, but it's our first time coming over here and having like packed, packed show. So it's been a really uh, nice breath of fresh air so far. So you are having a great time with Deadlock on this tour. Yeah, well, they've only been on. Uh, actually, they've been on for probably a little under a week or around a week now. Actually, I don't even think I've met all of them yet. But uh, they're nice. They're nice. Nice as hell. Good guys. Good band. But uh, yeah. I've, Takes, usually takes like a week or two to get to know like everybody, you know, <laughs> they get names and stuff and some of them don't really speak English and we only we only speak yeah. English so it's like, it's kind of hard to communicate sometimes but they seem really nice. So, uh, like you said, this is your first show ever in Finland and it's yeah. already a sold out one. Yeah, yeah, that's a good feeling. So, uh, <laughs> what kind of expectations you have towards the show? Uh, we've been we've been waiting for this one for a while just because we heard the ticket sales were so good right away. We're just like, alright. We didn't know, we didn't know how it happened, but you know, I would just, I guess I hear, I hear in Finland that like, metal is a lot more mainstream here than it is yeah. everywhere else in the world, so pretty awesome. Can't wait to play. We're already sound checking yeah. stuff, ready to go. And the ferry ride here was cool too. <laughs> so did you get wasted? No, I slept the whole time. <laughs> everybody Why? else, did, everybody else did. Well, we got on at like, we got on at seven in the morning, and I hadn't been to bed all night, so you know I got on, went to bed, and by the time I woke up, there was only like an hour left. I was like, oh, that's it. But I went to the little dance party thing there, and it was it was funny to see, and everybody singing karaoke and stuff. It was hilarious. So, so it was entertaining. So, uh, what kind of set can we expect to hear from you guys? Are you gonna play like most of the songs from the latest album, or? Uh, I think five. But uh, we know uh, it's been out for a few months. You know, it's our first time over here, so. We usually don't like chuck all the songs in the set right away, but uh, like I think five songs from the new one, and then uh, a lot from the Fall of Ideals, and then a couple, probably three, three or four from the this Dark and Heart record too. So it's a long set for us because uh, we're actually with the Haunted on tour, but they had just recently, just recently played this place, I guess. So they kind of dropped off for a few days, so we're kind of by ourselves. So it was a co-headlining tour. We're by ourselves, so play a little longer. For us, you know, I think like 17 songs we're playing, so that's for us a long set. So should be a should be a good time. So, uh, what's your personal favorite track from the new album, like playing wisely? Uh, my favorite's "Before the Damned." It's actually the first track on the album. That's my that's still my favorite so far. I haven't gotten sick of that one yet. I love playing it live too. I look forward to that one. Uh, you also had uh, some goals when you started playing music. Uh, have those goals changed? Like. Yeah, I think today. with uh, I think with every step, you kind of like, you know, it's like you start off with like small expectations, and then I think with every step that you make, you know, the expectations kind of rise. So it's like as you keep going, the goals kind of just keep getting reset. Yeah. So, but we've accomplished tons, like lots of the goals that we have set have been accomplished. So just you know, now it's like you know you keep going. It's like oh you know we wish we could headline in like a place you know with this many people, and then you do it and it's sold out. And you're like, okay, now I want to go to this place and headline for this many people and sell it out. So. You just keep raising the bar, kind of. I don't know. It keeps you sharp, I guess. I, I, <laughs> I guess you like didn't expect that you will be playing in Finland, like in front of like a sold-out audience when yeah, you started yeah, the playing. Place, you know, it's a decent-sized place too. It's like the first couple times we've been to Europe. You know, there's a couple shows we play where it was sold out, or you know, like oh cool, it's sold out. And you get to the place and it holds like you know a hundred people. Yeah, okay. like, oh, well, it's sold out. There's only a hundred people. Here. I guess this is like a thousand people. Yeah, about. First time to play here and have a thousand people come is uh, that's awesome. So uh, your music has ended up in the Guitar Hero and Rock Band games. Yeah. Uh, have you played those games yourself? Yeah, yeah. When uh, when six the song six first came out on Guitar Hero two, me and Ollie were pretty uh, we were pretty obsessed with it. We had on the, <laughs> we had on the bus. We were, we were playing every day. Ollie would uh, Ollie'd be in the practice mode. He was just sitting there doing all the parts <laughs> in practice mode, and making sure his percentages were up. <laughs> we took it pretty seriously, but I haven't got to play Rock Band a lot yet. But I know we got three of the songs now in Rock Band for you can download. It, so both both games are awesome. It's a good promotion too. So but 
when I get a chance to get my hands on Rock Band, I'll definitely be playing some of that. We don't have a, we have Xbox on the bus, but you know, the bus is too, the European buses are a lot tighter, so okay. there's not enough room for, you know, Rock Band drum sets and all that stuff. <laughs> that doesn't really work out. So, uh, what games do you usually play in the, in the bus? Uh, I know Phil, Phil loves Halo. I think everybody knows that. He's a big Halo guy, or uh, like, you know, Ghost Recon, or Assassin's Creed and stuff like that, but... I'm a, I love Grand Theft Auto, and I like the sports games a lot. I'm like the band jock guy. <laughs> I like all the sports. So, but I, I, haven't, I haven't played on the bus at all, just because uh, 15 people on a bus is kind of hard to get your hands on an Xbox controller. You know, no video games for me. So uh, in the summer you will be playing on the Rockstar Energy, Energy Drink Mayhem Festival. Yeah. Uh, what kind of expectations you have towards the tour? I have heard that it's pretty big. That's yeah, yeah. We we did Ozfest a few years ago, and that was like the coolest summer of our lives. And so, kind of just expect more of the same of that. You know, it's just we did Warp Tour last summer, which is a really hectic tour. You know, there's like 75 bands yeah. on it. And it's kind of it's not the most comfortable tour to do. Yeah. But this time around, it's gonna be a lot cooler than you know, like you know, 15, 18 bands around there, and just it's gonna be awesome. So the sets are going to be a, a little bit longer than in the Warped Tour. Yeah, Warped Tour. You know, I think we're playing six or seven songs, yeah, just like in yeah. and out. You know, yeah, out. maybe yeah. I don't know what slot we have exactly yet, but you know, maybe we can play like 40 minutes. You know, we can squeeze a good amount of songs in 40 minutes. So, but we'll see. It's, it's gonna be awesome. The band, we got, we got a lot of friends on the tour and stuff, so. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I can't wait. I, I love those summer tours like that. As long as there's a certain comfort level. Warp tour was kind of just like, oh, let's get it done. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what kind of future plans do you have after that tour? After that tour, probably be more, uh, you know, maybe coming back here. Everything's kind of just talks, you know. There's nothing okay. really set. Af after the the summer, there's no, there's nothing set in stone yet. Just because it's a. Uh, pretty far in advance. We know we're touring all year, so it's going to be like, after that, just do, uh, probably come back here again and do, ho hoping to do summer festivals here, so. Actually, that would be before the Mayhem Tour, so. Just that, more headlining in America and stuff like that, so. Touring, touring, touring. There, yeah. there won't be another album in 2009. Yeah. That'll, be, that'll be a 2010 thing. So, uh, in the end, uh, a little bit about your touring memories. Uh, which show has been the most memorable to you guys so far? Uh, and tours in general, or just like this tour? Like just one specific show, maybe some festival. We were, just, we were just ranting the other day. We played in Gothenburg, Sweden, for the first time. And it was, oh, it was unbelievable. I've never, we just, the expect, we didn't have, you know, it was our first time headlining there, so we were just like, hey, I know, we'll see how it goes. And, Amazing. It was just packed, and like, I've never heard a crowd so loud in my entire life. And all of us got off stage, and we were just like, "That was." A lot of times, you'll say like, "You know, it was the best show of the tour," but everyone was like, "That was one of the best shows ever, <laughs> like okay. any tour." So, Gothenburg, Sweden. That's that's where it's at. We all wanted to move there after that show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we're gonna probably want to move here after this show too. <laughs> we have we have good expectations for this one. See if they can compete. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, well, thank you really much for a chat. Uh, anything you want to say as a closer to your European fans? Ah, uh, listen to the record, Overcome. It's out. Go get it. That's about it. Okay, thank <laughs> you really much, thank and you good much. luck for tonight's show. Thanks for having me.